Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Train Your Brain Tuesday. Today, I am joining a fifth and sixth grade class with Mrs. Tempest from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And here is her class. Everyone wave. Hey, guys. Hi. So hey, thank you for... Hi. Thank you for inviting me to your class today to do some brain training. I'm super excited. Um, Mrs. Tempest is a pretty cool teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah. So one thing you may not know is she's my sister. Um, and another fact is that I used to be a teacher. In fact, my very first classroom in Minneapolis was fifth graders. So I love fifth graders. Um, but now I am the CEO of a brain training company called Learning RX, and we're doing brain training with kids all around the country that are stuck at home. And today I'm here with your classroom, so I'm so excited to be here. So we're going to do a few things. The first thing, um, everyone in the class and everyone at home needs a few items. So if you're at home, you may need to pause this and get some items, but we need a red and a blue pencil, colored pencil. You can use a crayon or a marker, but get something red and something blue. You're going to need a pair of scissors, and you're going to need this worksheet. Now you can download this, looks like this, at if you go to learningrx.com and go on to the Train Your Brain Tuesday tab, we have this worksheet for you. So download one, print it off, and then come back and we'll get started. Okay, everyone have what they need? Everyone have their pencils? Show me your pencils. Awesome. Show me your scissors. Right on. And show me your piece of paper with these grids on it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out these grids into little cards, okay? So go ahead and cut all the way around it. So you kind of have this, and then you're going to cut each card. Good, I hear lots of cutting noises. And then just hold them up when you've got your stack, so I know you're ready. Nice, Nora. I see your stack. I see fishers. Let me show you this first. Can everyone see this? This is a model of learning, and most people don't know this, but there's two parts to SMART. There's what you learn in school, like what you know, and then there's how you process information. And we're going to work on the how you process information side today. So how you process information is things like attention. In fact, we're going to work on attention, processing speed, which is how fast you are, um, working memory, long-term memory, visual processing, and some math. So we're going to work on a lot of the skills that you need to learn uh, fast and easy, okay? So this first one, what we're going to do is you have all of these, right? What I want you to do is uh, you're going to show them to me. So I'm going to show you a card. Can you all see my card? Okay, and we're going to count to three. In fact, uh, what I want you to do is hold up your two pencils right now, and we're going to count to three. So all together, count with me. One, two, three. That's, that's how long I'm going to show you this picture. Then I'm going to take it away, and now you can take your pencils and you can draw what you see on one of your pads of paper, one of your pieces of paper. 
And then when you have it, you're gonna show me, but we're gonna to continue to count all the way to 10. So let's practice real quick. So hold up your pencils, okay? And we're gonna count one, two, three, and then keep counting, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And so if I had showed you a card, you would draw what you saw and then show it. Okay, yep. Okay, so here goes. For the first card, have pencils up in the air. Okay, ready, here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nice, looks pretty good. Okay, but the only thing that, that wasn't good is, is that, that you didn't count, count with me. Everyone has to count, okay? Raise your hand if you need to count with me. Pencils in the air, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is what you should have. Okay, let's try another one. Ready? Pencils in the air. Here goes. Goes. One, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Okay, you guys ready to try four? Here goes, pencils in the air. This time we'll count to 12. Make sure you're counting out loud with me, okay? Everybody count with me. I'm gonna show it to you for four seconds. Ready, here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice job. Let's try another one. Pencils in the air. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. How'd you do? Good. Some of you aren't in the middle with your circle. <laughs> Here goes. Let's try it again. Pencils in the air. Can't take them down until we get to four. Ready? Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is what you should have. There, nice job. How many papers do you have? Just one? You have two left? Okay, yeah. let's try two more then. Ready? Here goes. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice job. Okay, last one. Pencils in the air. Oh, maybe I'll add one. In fact, I'm going to be tricky. Let me see. Okay, here's a tricky one. Are you guys ready? Here goes. Pencils in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's see what you got.
Nice. Did you see I even changed the circle from red to blue? Tricky, huh? Nice job. Okay, give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. Nice job. Homeschool high five. Give yourself a high five. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the presidents. I heard you guys wanted to learn the presidents. So here are the presidents. Can you guys all see this picture or should I share my, let me just share my screen. Okay, can okay. you all see, you all this, see picture? this picture? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to teach you the presidents, okay? So we're going to start over on this uh, left-hand side, and you see a guy and he's kind of looking, looking up. up. You see him? So he is watching a ton, okay? And if someone was holding something that heavy over your head, I think I would watch it too to make sure it doesn't drop on my head, right? So the first president is Washington. Say Washington. 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 Excellent. Okay. And holding that ton is a lady with a crazy head, right? Does anyone know what that crazy thing is on top of her head? Bella? An atom. An atom. Yes, exactly. And that's, that's an atom. Jimmy Neutron, Neutron has an atom, right, in his cartoon? Um, and so the next president is President Adams. Say Adams, Say Adams with, me. with me. Adams. Adams. So we have Washington, Adams, and then you can see there's a little guy next to her. That's her son, and she's patting him on the top of the head. And what does it look like his job is? Can you tell? Chef, chef. Yeah, he's a chef. He's a chef, and he is her, her son. So it's President Jefferson. Jefferson. Say Jefferson. Jefferson. Good. So we have Washington, Adams, Jefferson. Okay? Washington, and then Adams, Jefferson. Jefferson, yep. And then, as, as you can, can see, see there, there he is, is grilling, grilling a son. son. And does, does that, that son look happy? No. Nope. <laughs> no. In fact, no, no. he looks mad, right? Nope, nope. He's mad because he's on the grill and it's hot. So the next president is President Madison. Say Madison. 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 Excellent. And then if you look at one of the rays off the sun, there's a man in on that, and he's doing this. Can you tell what he's doing? Paddling. Yeah, he's like paddling, or what's another name, what's another word for paddling? Rowing. Rowing. Oh. Yeah, he's rowing a boat. Man, row. Monroe reminds us of President Monroe. Okay. And as you can see, at the end of one of his uh, oars, it is like supercharged. And we have that same thing again. What is that? Adam. 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 So we have another President Adams. In fact, uh, that Adams is that first Adams' son. So there's a father and a son who are president. So let's go back to the beginning and let's see if we can say them all together. Ready? Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams. Okay? And then if you look at that atom, there's some things flying out of that atom. It's supercharged. Does anyone know what those are? It's a game that you play with a Super Bowl. You might not have played it, but <laughs> when I was a kid, people played it. And it was called Jacks. And so those are Jacks. And as you can see, there's a Jack even kind of stuck in that son's head. He doesn't look too happy about that, does he? The next president is Jackson. Say Jackson. Jackson. 
Jackson. Jackson. Excellent. And then if you look at the rays of the sun, the uh, sun's hot, right? And you can see that on that vehicle right there, that he's melting the tires. Do you see that? Yep. That's because it's so hot. And what kind of vehicle is that? A van. A van. Yeah. It's a van. And do you see a bear in front of it? Yeah. 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 And it almost looks like he's chasing down that bear, right? If there was a van chasing you, would you walk or would you run? Run. 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 I move out of the way. You move out of the way? Yeah, that would be a good thing. You should jump out of the way. Definitely. So it's Van, Bear, Run. Van, Bear, Run. Van Buren. Say Van Buren. Yeah, say it again. Van Buren. And again. Van Buren. Good. And then as you can see, that bear, he is not really watching where he's going. He's running into a sun, right? Mm -hmm. And what kind of sun do you think that is? Harrison. It's a hairy sun. Yeah. It almost looks like he's wearing a toupee or something, right? Or a wig? Yeah. So that's Harrison. Harrison. And then, as you can see, Harrison, the hairy son, is picking up some, anyone have an idea what those Tiles. are? Tiles? Tiles? They are. Yeah, a lot of people think they're pizza boxes, but they're not. They're tiles. So, like, the tiles that are on, like, your floor in the bathroom. So, the last president here for number 10 is President Tyler. Tyler, okay? So let's see if we can uh, say the president's four words. Ready? Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, and Tyler. Excellent. Let's see if you can say them backwards. Ready? Tyler, Harrison, Van Buren, Jackson, Adams, Monroe, Madison, Jefferson, Adams, and Washington. Washington. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to take it away. Stop sharing. And let's see, I want you to picture those in your head. Let's see if someone, does anyone think they can do all 10? Lily, you think you can? Unmute yourself and give me all 10. George Washington, Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Madison Monroe, Adams Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, and Tyler. Good, excellent. Who thinks they can do them backwards? Olivia, you want to try them backwards? Okay. Well, I kind of already have them memorized, not backwards, but <laughs> Tyler, Harrison, Ben Buren, Ben Buren, Jackson, Adams, Monroe, Madison, Jefferson, Adams, Washington. Awesome! High five, everybody. <laughs> Okay, right now, if you're holding up a blue, you're the blue team. If you're holding up a red, you're the red team, okay? So here goes, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, you all see this? This is for the blue team. Blue team, you're gonna go first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a card. Can you guys see this? It might be backwards, but you know what number it is? Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Okay. So right now, if you're the blue team, uh, turn yourself off mute. If you're the red team, put yourself on mute. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this number, and then you're going to go down the column and add it. So what would you say for the first one? Five. Five. And then six. Eight, 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 eight,
four, six, nine, four, five. Okay. So you get how to do it? Put, give me a thumbs up if you get how to do it. Okay, excellent. So we're going to have the blue team go first. I'm going to put up a number. You have to add it to all those columns, and we're going to time you. And then I'm going to do it with the red team, and we'll see who's faster. Okay? Yeah, Ready? I don't you don't I get, don't it? get it? Neither do I. I get it. I get it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the first two columns. Do you see where the three is? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to go down the column. So you go down like three, four, six, eight, six, seven, nine, three. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to give you a number to add to it. So if I give you five, oh, then you have to say what? Eight. 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 eight, eight nine. Nine. 11, 11, 13, 13 11, oh, now I get it. 12. Okay, and we're going to do two columns, and I'm going to time you. Yeah, okay? I get it. Okay. So here goes. Ready? Blue wait, team? Wait, going first. Okay, blue team, when you're done, I want you to put both your hands up in the air like this so I can see when you're done. Okay? Here goes. Ready? Go. Six, seven, nine, twelve, nine, ten, six, six. Nice job, blue team. You got ten seconds. Okay, now it's time for the red team. You red red team, are you ready? I'm gonna bring yours down. Let me see. Here's for the red team. Can you guys see that? Where are we doing a down or like a side? You're going to do two columns. So you're going to start with six, eight, nine, four, three, two, six, seven. Okay. okay. So here goes. Ready? Red team, go. Okay, that was about, uh, some of you were at 9 and some of you were at 11. Let's go and try with the blue team again. Ready, blue team? Here goes. On your mark, get set, go. Eight, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eleven, twelve, fourteen, eight. Nice. Twelve seconds that time. Okay, let's go back to the red team. Come on, red team. Let's see if you can beat ten seconds. Here goes. Ready? Go. And thirteen twelve. Okay. Nice job, everybody. Give yourselves a pat on the back. A high five. <laughs> to yourself. Okay, you guys, are you? Let me uh, stop sharing this. And now I'm just going to show you a science experiment. Ivory soap is the only soap that floats. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in here and let's see if it floats. Can you see that? Did you know that ivory soap floated? <laughs> So, I'm going to show you something else that's kind of cool. So, I have a bar of soap, ivory soap, and I'm going to cut it with a knife. Into some pieces. Can you guys see this? So, I put it in into uh like five chunks there, okay? Now, I'm going to run to the microwave 
and I'm going to microwave it for 90 seconds. So I want you to think about what you think is going to happen, okay? Look at this. Wow. What the I used to do that all the time. It's like huge clouds of soap. That, that's crazy. That's Isn't insane. That cool? And guess what? You can still use this soap. So because we have to wash our hands so many times a day, I thought it would be fun to show you some fun soap. So when you're washing your hands, now you can use a whole cloud of soap. Okay, well thank you for joining me today and I'm going to show you a bunch of free stuff that you can have, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys have already done this, but if you thought today was fun, you can go and subscribe on uh, YouTube to the Learning Rx channel and I have five other brain training uh, shows, episodes that you can watch. One of them was even with a jet a fighter pilot and you can see if you can beat him at a, at a game okay so make sure you subscribe and make sure that you share with some friends and some family and maybe even a teacher that you know okay so to do that uh, and then all this free stuff if you go to learningrx.com and then you click up here on train your brain Tuesday It'll come to a page with a bunch of free stuff. Here's, there's a book that your parents can read. Um, there's also inside, there's a page for teachers that if they wanna take a free CE course, they can just go to page 131 and they can download a free course for your teachers. It's like a gift, better than an apple. And then, do you see the sticker? on my water bottle it says brain ninja okay and after you've done a lot of brain training you become a brain ninja so I have these stickers you can put them on water bottles you can put it on your skateboard you can put it on your snowboard you can put it on your guitar case uh, anywhere you want uh, and, and if, if you'd, you'd like, like one of these, all you have to do is write me, and my son Max will send you one, okay? So what you need to do is put your own name and address on an envelope with a stamp. Make sure you put a stamp on it, and then you're going to fold it up, and you're going to put it in a second envelope. And this envelope you put a stamp on and address it to Learning Rx, Attention Max, 5085 List Drive, Suite 200, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80919. And you can get your very own Brain Ninja sticker. We'll send you one for free. Um, the other thing that you can do is when you go to uh, that learningrx.com and you go on the Train Your Brain Tuesday tab, there's a game pack like this that you can download, and it has six brain training uh, exercises in it. And in fact, it even has the last 10 presidents. So if you need to to learn the last 10 presidents, you can do that. And then there's also some coloring pages. You see the coloring pages? Did any of you guys color one of the coloring pages? Not yet. <sighs> Not yet? Look, here's one that my daughter colored in. Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? And then here's one I did. Kind of looks like Picasso. And if you get those done, you can go on to our Facebook and uh, show us your, your pictures, okay? Okay. That's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me.